Cheers, Matt. Thanks for the render. My name's Chris Scholes, and I work in the CAS digital team within Jaguar Design. Our role within the design process is to take 2D design proposals and develop them into 3D geometry. Working from home at the moment, I'll give you a quick overview of how we can realise a concept using the software alias by Autodesk. We generally start by creating a curve to outline the key features and volumes of the car. Here I'm using Matt's artwork along with a studio engineering package layout to sketch out the basis. The advice here is you're going to want to use a good flow of control points. This will enable you to control the acceleration and smoothness of the curves. Try and use as few as you need and, with, and use them with a good distribution between them. You can use evaluation tools along the way to analyse this. Even with a few simple curves you can start to get the feel of the curve. Using the curves that we've made, we can start to create the surfaces. Now there's a variety of techniques to do this, but again what I'd say the key is to have a good flow of CVs. The CVs are effectively telling you what the surface is doing. Not only will it then make it easier to build other surfaces off those surfaces, it'll also be able to highlight to you any issues, you'll be able to see any hollows or any bumps just in within the CVs on their own. Now by either moving the curves or manipulating the surfaces themselves, we can adjust the form and shapes of the curve. The surfaces can be aligned to one another using math from the control points to create smooth and flowing transitions between them. We can then use evaluation shaders and tools to see how the light reflections would, um, would move on those surfaces. Um, effectively like looking at the highlights on a painted surface. Uh, from a process uh, point of view, you're going to want to block out the simple volumes first. Uh, building to theoretical edges and intersects. Uh, then you can move on to the blends and the complex transitions between them. The way to look at it is build the big building blocks first and then add or take away the detail on top afterwards. Within the design department, we work on every A surface on an exterior interior. So this car is not just the body itself, it's going to be the grills, it's the headlamps, it's the rear lamps, it's the meshes, it's the, the wheels, etc. Obviously that's a lot of data and that can be used in multiple ways. So we can make physical properties, um, either phone properties, hard models. We can support the clay properties using on-plate milling and handy scans. We can transfer information between the two teams back and forth. The data can be used for engineering uh, releases and gateways. I believe in this instance, we're going to give the data to Elliot from the DVA team and he'll show you what those guys can do with it. 